On this episode of Too Many Projects Garage, we use lasers. Stay tuned. Alright guys, Creality was so gracious to send me another tool for my shop to try out. This is the Falcon 2 laser cutter slash engraver, you know, 22 watts. Pretty awesome, very capable machine. I'm excited to put it together, test it out on this video, and you guys can let me know what you think. All right, let's dig right in. Got the knife, let's cut it open. Remember to cut away from you, even though I'm cutting towards myself. Ooh, very nice packaging. I like this foam packaging. You can actually reuse this foam for a lot of cool stuff. So right on the top, you get a operations guide that kind of gives you a step-by-step -step setup process, which is really neat. And on the back, you even have a flow chart, which is really cool. That'll come in handy. I'll probably put that up on the wall just for future reference. Let's see, what do we got here? We got some uh, stickers. How cool is that? That'll be cool. I'll put some of these on my uh, toolbox. Got a quick guide as well. We've got some sample materials, which we will be cutting some of these hopefully today on this video. Some more sample materials. Very cool. All kinds of different materials. Wood. Uh, looks like some other types of materials like felt, leather, stuff like that. Very cool. Rotary roller accessories quick guide. Ooh. What is that? We will have to check that out. Ooh, okay, this is neat. And I didn't realize this was included, but it's a rotary roller. So that means you can actually set something small like a cup or something like that up in this little thing here. And you can engrave something as it spins. That is actually really, really cool. I'm excited to use that too. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got the laser module right here, 22 watt laser module. Gotta be careful, lasers are dangerous. You don't wanna do damage to your eyesight, so you wanna wear some, si some type of safety equipment when you're using this, but very cool. Okay, oh, and speaking of, got some safety goggles. Now, I trust Creality to actually send some pretty good safety goggles with their equipment, because Creality is a pretty reputable brand when it comes to like 3D printing, all kinds of stuff, so. I definitely trust Creality to provide us safe glasses, so that's nice that they include that. Alright, what do we got? Power cable. Very nice. Looks like a good power cable. Let's see. What do we got here? I'll have to look at the guide and I'll let you guys know what this is. It says something about a filter on it, so... Interesting. Power brick tool kit, and also looks like we've got a USB stick in there. I'll give you the contents. Check out the contents. And last but not least, we've got the machine itself. Oh, actually, you know what? This is cool. It's like a little honeycomb. So you, could, you don't have to set it directly on whatever surface. You can set it on this. That's really cool. And I apologize about the AC noises. It's very hot outside. I've got to have AC to keep myself cool. Hey, another piece of material it looks like we can use to cut or engrave. Now I know what that is. This looks to be an air pump, so it'll blow any kind of detritus or soda ashes or whatever away from the tool head. So you don't get your uh, laser dirty. Very cool. All right, and here we go. The piece de resistance, if I pronounce that correctly. The actual XY gantry itself. How cool is that? Looks really nice. So I'm gonna get this out on the table and get it set up and you'll see me here in a moment. And just like that, we've got it all laid out on the table. We have the air pump here, the roller thing here. We've got our, some of our materials over there. Documentation right here. One thing I also noticed is they give you some little extra spacers for your uh, feet. How cool is that? So that way you can uh, raise it up even higher if you need to. Also, we've got the power brick here. 
and then our little thing there. So now what we're gonna do is put it all together. One thing right off the bat, I'm putting the legs on, and they give you actually three different spots to put the legs. So I'm just gonna put it on the outer two here, like so, and you can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> She's a little barker. We got the legs all put on, very nice. And just like that, I've got it all set up. Got the air hose connected to the air pump, that's plugged in. We've also got the laser attached and plugged in, and you can, as you can see, there's a nice little cable way, which is really cool. It moves. Very cool. You've got the little control panel here with the emergency stop button. If anything it starts going over eye, I've got it plugged in. Ignore the mess over there. This is really neat. It's a little uh, gauge tool that you can use to focus the laser based on how thick of basswood you're using to engrave. So I've got it uh, on cutting thickness of basswood. I actually may set it to engrave, actually. I think that's what's set up on the, the SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the SD card in. I'm gonna set it up to engrave, and we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Now, another really neat thing about this laser cutter is that actually the laser's way up inside and it has these little windows. So you're, even if you're not wearing the glasses, which you should do anyways, um, it, there it's mostly protected, which is actually really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip on my glasses, which they're right over here. And then we're going to turn it on and see how to get it going. With these glasses, everything is delightfully green. <laughs> I kind of like it actually, pretty neat. All right, moment of truth. One thing I learned when turning this on, uh, I had to talk to a couple of my friends because they are way more knowledgeable about laser cutting than I am. You actually have to turn, if this button is pressed, see how it's like all the way in? You actually have to turn it so that it pops up. And then now it's turning on, check it out. Starts up, does its little setup. And don't forget to wear the glasses. Put those on. Now, one thing that's really cool about this, it has a ton of safety features. It has a key, so that way you can turn it off and keep the key so that nobody messes with the laser when you're not around or if you don't want them to, like kids, for example. Another really big benefit is it has a stop button, of course, which I already found out about. One other thing that's uh, really cool about this is it has a bunch of knock and fall sensors, so if it falls off the counter or something happens, It'll shut off right away, which is super cool. And last but not least, it has these little indicator lights that tell you if there's an issue. And they'll blink red or green or whatever, depending on what the problem is. So for example, lens is good, that means it's green, fire, there's no fire, green. Now there's something up with the air. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is of that. I think I may have to turn up the air flow or something. Let's go ahead and give it a restart and see what it does. Shut it down. I mean, you can hear the air, you can hear it turn on. And it's cool, it has little legs there that bounce. Yeah, there you go. So lots of safety features. And of course you've got the glasses and you've even got this little safety glass there. So that way you're not looking directly at the laser. Even if for some reason, like if you were walking by and you didn't have the glasses on, you're not gonna get immediately blinded, you know, which is a good thing. Um, which you should be wearing the glasses no matter what, but you never know. So let me go ahead and look into this and get a little idea of how to use it. This is the first time I've ever had one of these laser cutters. One really cool thing about this is you could cut so many different things. Uh, you can engrave a bunch of things. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually engraving you know, my logo on my valve cover on one of my cars. So I'm thinking about engraving it on my Civic, which will be super cool. We'll have to make some extended legs probably to fit the valve cover under there. but. Man, I think that would be a sweet thing to do. Also, I can make little plaques with my logo on them. I can put them in my cars. If I ever sell the cars in the future, there'll be a plaque with it that shows that I worked on it and what channel, so they can go in and check out the history of their car. I think that would be super cool. And of course, if you guys want something, I can engrave it and send it your way as well for a small fee. Let me figure this thing out and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, I did a little bit of research. I think I got it figured out. You have to download a, a program called Lightburn, which has a 30-day free trial, or you could download another one, which isn't as user-friendly, called Light Gerbil. That one's free, but it's not as user-friendly. So I'm trying out Lightburn for now. I've got a file loaded up here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And we'll see if we can make it work right. All right. Okay, check that out. Since I have a file on there, it allows me to adjust where I want to put it. I think, I think so. Let's see, let's click frame again. It beeped. What does that mean? We're still learning here, guys. Still learning. Hmm. I'm not sure. When you press frame, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to go around like, like and show you where it needs to be. But it seems to be getting stopping right there for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. And it just beeps like, eh. Yeah, why does it stop there? Frame? Huh. Well, I'm gonna look into that. So I figured out why it was just stopping. And the reason why is when I created the file or sliced it or whatever you wanna call it, I don't know what the actual terminology is for laser, but I, I generated the tool paths. Once I generated the tool paths, I realized via the preview that it was running too far to the left and too far to the right. And so anytime I would start the frame where it showed the outline of where it was actually gonna do the laser cut, it would just hit the side because it was out of bounds. There's really nothing stopping it other than uh, it just stopping whenever it hits the out of bounds. There's nothing indicating that would happen, honestly, without you clicking preview. So I'm glad I figured that out. I was a little annoyed because <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I'm pretty new to this, so I'm used to 3D printers. And with now 3D printers have been out so long, and they're so widely used. There's a lot of like dummy safety measures in place. So it's like easy to not mess up, you know, but with this, there's a little bit less hand holding. So, you know, it took me a little longer to figure out, but I got to figure it out. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is actually a really sweet tool. And uh, here in a moment, I'll show you some of my actual time lapses. And then at the end, I'll show you my prints or laser engravings. Is that what you call them? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Check it out, guys. This is kind of a sneak peek as to what we're going to be doing in the next episode. This valve cover does not go on my engine, any of my engines at the moment, but I wanted to try out etching a valve cover with logo. You'll see what it looks like here in just a second. What do you guys think of the time lapses I just showed? I think it's pretty sweet. I'm really excited to use this tool more. Um, uh, there's a lot of things that we can use it for, I think. Um, definitely put in the comments below what you wanna see me use it for as well in the future on my projects. Of course, here's some of the test things I did. I, of course, did the little one that's installed on the card. So, really easy. Um, I did the Honda logo, which of course you guys know me, I'm a Honda fan. Also have got of these little, little cool little uh, kind of fit together little lizard guys kind of neat and last but not least I did the, the valve cover uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing more stuff like this maybe my logo a whole bunch of other things that I'm thinking about doing making little plaques to put on all my cars like I said to show the history of the car so if I ever sell the car on to like say one of you guys or someone in the future they can look at the little plaque. They could say, oh, well, I'm going to go look at that plaque and watch the videos of how, the history of my car. So I think that's definitely something I want to do for all my vehicles that I sell. Um, but yeah, definitely tell me what you think. Uh, put in the comments below what you want to see me do with this next. I definitely want to do a bigger project with it uh, for another video. Uh, so definitely give me some ideas. Uh, you know, I'm open to a whole bunch of ideas as to how we can use this to 
elevate the channel. Uh, definitely thanks to Creality. They sent this to me uh, free of charge, uh, which I'm truly grateful for because I get to use this. I get to elevate the channel using more tools, learning more stuff, because I'm definitely new at the laser. Um, you know, when it comes to laser engraving, laser cutting, I've never had one before. So I'm excited to learn it and share it with you guys. I want to thank all my members, and you'll see me next time on Too Many Projects Garage.